Good morning, good morning to you. We better wash your head, get you all ready for the plane. My little prisoner, look at these legs. All right, mama's ready. Taking a video of me. Yeah. <laughs> bye bye. Ready to go. Uh, <laughs> see you in May. See, see you in May. Bye. Bye bye. Are you excited? Yeah. To go home? Yeah. Got a shuttle. There's a baby on his lap. We're in Disneyland. <laughs> Whoa. What's um, happening? Hindi tayo tayo sa gate ng flight namin. Uh, the plane's there. It's a beautiful 787-9 Dreamliner that will take us to Bahrain. Look at that. Look at that. Wait, it's not seen. Ta-da! Are you good? He's been a good boy. Are you good? <laughs> so we're currently just waiting for our flight. Um, Jude started getting restless because he got tired of sitting down. He loves to explore, he loves to see things. So yeah, his, his dad is taking him around. Can't wait to go home. Hey boo boo. Hey boo boo. <laughs> Someone just fed. He just finished seven ounces just for the first time. Finished seven ounces clean. Mm -hmm. No breaks. And he wanted more. Hmm. Say what's up, Papa? Show me a gang <laughs> sign. Say what up, homie? Hey, fist bump, fist bump. Yeah, that's my boy right there, bro. That's our flight, Papantang Manila. In case you guys didn't know. That guy behind the camera is a big airplane geek. Yep. So what airplane is that? That's a 787-9. Say what up, Papa. You gonna be a pilot too, little dude? Yeah! You gonna be a pilot? Yeah. Look at his You gonna tummy. be a pilot? Look at that. Thick boy. <laughs> Thick boy. Fell asleep. Sleepy, sleepy boy.
in Gold Lounge here in the new terminal in Gold in Gold <laughs> in Bahrain. <laughs> Pretty cozy. Money need up on gamet, my god. Manila. <laughs> so we gotta go because our stopover is only like a few minutes. It's all about it's all about the viewing pleasure, you know? Yep. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> But this is a beautiful uh, airport. Yeah, this is a new airport of Bahrain. New terminal. Oh, new, sorry, new terminal. Last time I had a stopover, I flew with Gulf Air and my stopover was eight hours. Stopover. And this, this is still being renovated. So I was hanging around an old, empty, tiny, claustrophobic terminal for eight hours. We're home! It looks so bad. <laughs> but anyway, so we just put you to sleep and we're sorry because we weren't able to vlog um, much of the second flight because we were all asleep. But basically, um, he was a very good boy. He was a very good boy. He, yeah. Uh, he slept most of the second flight. Second flight. And the first flight, he just wanted to go around the cabin. And yeah. He only cried because. Why did he cry? He was hungry or he wasn't comfortable. Hindi lang siya nasana sa ano sa upuan ng aeroplano. Like staying there in like in that corner for a long time. But I thought na he would he would like cry because it was painful on his ears because of because. <laughs> Because of the pressure, I thought like magpa pop yung ears niya that will make him cry. But no, he he cried just because he was bored. The normal things. He slept most of the time, and we had no problems with him except for my back, of course, my back problems. <laughs> my knee. <laughs> because I was trying to keep him comfortable, he was sleeping on my chair, so I was like, I was like that on the side. And he was a lot heavier, 40,000 feet above, because of the gravity. Our second flight was like 7 hours and sleep the whole time. Oh, I think a lot of you are curious about the procedure. Like, I, I got so many messages asking me like, what it's like traveling now with COVID, with a baby. Well, you saw, you saw how we traveled, but um, the procedure when we got back was quite strict. Naman. Um, what did we do again? It was pretty well organized. Yeah. They had uh, separate lanes for the OFWs and the, just the returning Filipino citizens. So um, we got priority that my baby came. So we were sent to a certain area which we had to fill out some forms, uh, the health declaration form, of course. And um, we had to get signed up with the COVID um, team there. I think Pad Lab was the people. So we get a QR code. Um, they asked for our hotel booking information. But yeah. they were very, it was very organized. Um, it took time, of course, because it's a process. So we were expecting to be waiting, but it wasn't as long as we thought. So basically, you just really have to have a hotel booked in advance for seven nights. 
they're gonna swap you on your fifth day when you arrive and well when you arrive it's day zero it's considered day zero because akala ko day one na yun eh. but no day one was today because we arrived yesterday so yun on the fifth day we're gonna get swabbed and if we're negative then we can go home the day after we we receive our results so yeah basically when we got back that's all we had to do we just had to queue up for the hotel confirmation thing pay for the swab um that's it no that's pretty much just it just fill, yeah. fill fill up some forms and yeah that's it and now we're here and uh, we're settled in we just put you to sleep as we said and yeah we just gotta wait for the swab and the results and then Oh yeah, by the way, just to let you guys know on this channel, we're gonna try and aim for maybe getting one video out a week. Try, try. lang ha. <laughs> okay, we'll mag-judge if we're not too consistent. Yeah, it's kinda hard. Kinda hard, but uh, as soon as we settle in at the house with Jude, at the... Uh, yeah, we might, we might try to show you like the struggle of trying to settle down at home. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Well, anyway, guys, we want to thank you for watching the video, and uh, if you haven't subscribed already, click that subscribe button, por favor. Click that. How you did? Uh, click subscribe. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Ring the notification bell. <laughs> okay. But yeah, um, if you want to subscribe, the option is there. If you want to get notified, click the bell to get notified. Oh, click the bell. Why did yeah. I say ring the bell? Because I guess people ring bells. I don't know. That's but it. it's, you weren't wrong, you know? Yeah. Anyway, guys, thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace and love. Bye.